No, I'm gonna get another one next turn, so let's make sure Galades are able to fight. Yeah, we may not survive. So how many hit points? A hundred and... Yeah, I think this is enough. 150? Yeah, 140. Perfect. Let's go ahead and use Infinite Force. Knock out this Machamp. 150. Strong energy. Means that... Uh, the regular energy. Oh, regular energy. Woo! Woo! Muscle Punch GX. Wait, that was enough! 230. Oh, that's right. I don't have 250. I don't have 250. Ow! Ow! Hello, integrals and the Frenchals. It is Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you the best deck in the game. In standard. Did you just hear that right? Yeah, it is Guard of War GX. Really, Donald? Best deck in the game. Psh, okay, so let me tell you a little story. Alright, about a week ago on... Unfortunately, we were still working our Shining Legends uh, series. Uh, Pablo Mesa, Table Mine, sent... Hey, Donald! I was wondering if you were interested in featuring my champion deck from Vancouver Regionals with Gardevoir and Sylveon. I'm sure you could pull off a Plea GX Parallel City, which we did, which you'll see, and that your viewers will love. So here's the deck list. Congrats on 50k sub. Thank you, Pablo Mesa. And just so you can see, here it is on Pokemon's website, Pablo Mesa Masters Division Champion. Now, of course, you probably want to go see how he himself talks about the list, so that link is going to be in the description and uh, his video for his deck, too. So, yeah, I could learn from the master. But, you know, for me, I got to learn from the master, so I'm going to try this deck out. You'll see, we'll see, what it's, see what it's like. So, this is uh, his first place champion deck list. All right, I think you get the story, so we're going to move on back here. Ah, uh, let's see. There he goes. Now, I want to explain to you, you know, with one of my little short stories, how this deck works. You're going to see it in four. Yeah, we had a very good workout with this. Four epic matches. Oh, yeah. Four epic, epic, epic matches. So, we are uh, in the first battle. Oh, yeah. You think uh, you didn't think uh, this deck was uh, bad. You think... Uh, you won't think this the deck that's coming is a challenge for this, but it is. Uh, the giveaway winner is second. Please, GX. Yes, sir, Pablo. We got that covered. And, uh, yeah, I have to, that's probably, uh, you know, no, 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 don't say anything else. Let's get started. Today's intro is Great Fairy Mountain from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Because, you know, we're doing a fairy deck, so I suppose this song makes much more sense at this intro. Okay. So, Gardevoir, let's make an analogy. Let me tell you a story. This is gonna get me killed someday. Making this sort of a joke. But let's say Gardevoir is a really good mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she's very experienced. She has 230 hit points. Stage 2. Oh, yeah. The biggest of the baddest. Most stage shoes have 250, but 230? That's okay. That's above average. It's very difficult to one-shot this. Very, very difficult. You gotta have a top of the line big attack to do so. So, her first ability is ability that she's practiced for a long time. She's a master of coupons. She can get things for a discount, sometimes for free. So, for Secret Spring, once during your turn, she can use a coupon to get you a free fairy energy. Yep, if you got a fairy energy in your hand, you can use this ability to attach it, which does not count towards your one energy per turn limit. So, Super coupon skills, boom, extra energies. You're gonna have lots of energies on your side field and charge your Pokemon faster. First attack! Mom says, Hey, honey, can you hold my groceries for me? So basically, she hands up all her energies that she has onto the enemy Pokemon. It's like, Yeah, sure, I can do it. Of course, you can't say no. And then for all the energies that the enemy is holding, it does 30 damage. Turns out most Pokemons use three energies to attack, so that's 90 damage, including the one that she already has. 120. Add in the choice ban, add in a DCE, you will delete basic GX, stage 1 GX, easily. Because her power and her hit points are so immense, that's just what makes her one of the strongest cards in the game. She's very good, and finally her GX attack. You know, mom's had to clean up for you for a long time, so this has something to do with that. Twilight GX, shuffle 10 cards from your discard, all the trash you left around, back into your deck. 
So she cleans everything up, you can reuse whatever card you want. It's better than a super auto of sorts because you can get trainers, supporters, everything back. Don't let that trash door get you. Use Twilight GX. So, the real power here is infinite force, but everything else is a great asset to uh, Mama God of War. So, that is Mama God of War. You know, she has a cat. We gotta talk about her cat. Yeah, here's her cat, Sylvia, which really is a dog. It just looks like a cat, but it's really a dog. Let's go. Uh, you know, let's just. Let's, let's take a look at that. First of all, it can fetch. Yeah, for one energy, you can teach you to fetch. Magical Ribbon, you search your deck for three cards. Any three cards. There's no restriction, it will fetch you whatever three cards you want. You want some rare candies to evolve that card for quickly? You want, uh, you know, double colors and cheese? Anything you want. This is a good dog, it'll fetch you anything. So, alright, what does it do? What, what else can this dog do? Well, this dog has you know, regular good old attack, it just you can trade it, go, hey, go bite him! Bite something! Fairy with one color, one fairy energy, one double color energy, and it two shots most Pokemon. In fact, if you give it a choice, man, it will two shot every Pokemon, including God of War GX. As long as, you know, God of War doesn't one shot it following turn. So, yep, average, perfectly standard attack, you can. This is the one of, you know, this is completely standard. You want this sort of damage for all your Pokemons. Man, finally! Dogs can be very intimidating. You know, can chase squirrels up trees, and this is where it chases away your enemy's bench Pokemon. Put two bench Pokemons and all their energies, everything attached to them, back to your opponent's hand. So, what happens? Oh yeah, did, did they spend a lot of time evolving a Gardevoir? Mm -mm. Everything goes back up, so they have to drop that basic again, use another rare candy, go through stage one, stage two, and it can really bog down your opponent if they're using a lot of evolution Pokemons, which we got that covered. We got that covered in the Plea GX video. So, all right, and those are your two baby Jack. Oh, we have one more! Turns out, you know, this is her uh, husband right here. Gardevoir's husband, Galate. Galate has a... No, she, he's, he's kind of psychic. He's uh, he he knows stuff. He, he's got dad dad amazing dad skills. So premonition. Look at the next five cards. He can sense what cards are there. You know he'll quietly go in and fix things, rearrange things for you. Look at the next five cards. Put them back in any way you like. So no, gotta keep uh, gotta keep the uh, you know things going smoothly. Like the good dad. And finally his final attack, sensitive blade. What does it do? No, oh, you know, he's stressed out all the time, and all. Yeah, being a dad and all, so you play a supporter, any supporter, you know, give him some, uh, help. He'll, uh, he'll do double damage. Any supporter, could be a draw supporter, you know, help from a bro, anything. It does 130 damage. That's two-shot potential. Unfortunately, you can't boost it more than that too much further. You can give it a choice band, so that's 160, but not enough to one-shot... You know, even basic GX Pokemon's barely missing it, perhaps in another deck. So, why is this here? Well, you know, it shares the same evolution with uh, Gardevoir, and you can use Sushi Master to draw those cards immediately, or some of those cards. Sushi Master, hello again, Abyssal Hand. If you have less than five cards, you draw until you have five cards. So make sure Galate loads the cards you need up, and you will draw them. Yeah, and it just makes any deck smoother when you have Sushi Master out. All right, those are all our core Pokemons we know about. Coconut Master, anything special about this deck? Anything super, super special. Okay, Parallel City. Parallel City, after using this and after being hit by this, it's just a reminder, you've forgotten. This thing is very good. It shrinks your opponent's bench to three, which makes it bad because, you know, if you want to set up a Gallade and an Octillery and a Gardevoir, uh, that's all your bench space. You don't have room to drop down your Lele's, your Coconut Bastards. You don't have room to set up Sylveon. It's bad. It really does m kill a setup because you need that bench space. Nowadays, everybody runs, uh, well, tournament decks tend to run three Lele's. Banana Master. Every bench space is precious, so this could really harm a setup. And it does! And once, yeah, once it, you know, kicks in, you can just follow up with a Blee GX. You know, once uh, and hit up, you know, mess with your strongest po opponent's Pokemon, and they are screwed. So, 
That is it. All right, Pablo Mesa's. This is Pablo Mesa's Gardevoir GX. The way I exact deck build. Here we go. Starting off with Machamp GX. Oh yeah. Come to another Gardevoir GX match. The exact deck used by Pablo Mesa to win the Hartford, no, Vancouver Regionals. Got to get it right. So, let's see if we can keep up. All right, I'm going to do you justice, Pablo. I'm going to play my remix of Despacito, slowly, by Ruiz Fonzi. All right, Lycan Rock G... Oh, you aren't Lycan Rock. You are Machamp. Probably Machamp GX. Cool. Let's get this started. All right, now we neither of us have to deal with weakness. And you are very fat and tanky, meaning I'm gonna have to work really, really hard to get, uh, yeah, to get you down. All right, and he's going first. We got two Lele's. Let's go ahead and drop the Lele down. And what's the best card to open with? Bridget. That's like a must these days for these big decks. You can go beyond that. You can use nest balls and uh, other things too, but we'll do it this way. Of course, we need this. We need this, and we need this. And we don't have a way to retreat this back yet, so I believe the best way right now is to play this right here. Yeah, I like to get Sylveon up. Sylveon, unfortunately, isn't able to do anything this turn. Good thing that Sushi Master's there. We also should have taken a look at the deck. That's what a pro would do, but Donald, don't mess this one up. All right, uh, we have only one of these valuable choice bands, two of these choice bands, so I'm going to save it right now. Let's end the turn right there. All right, my champ. See what we could add. Rimmeraid. Rimmeraid's up front. It looks like Sushi Master. It's like, oh, finally! You're it's you're using sushi. You, you know, I'm in your deck again. This is good. Okay. So yeah, yeah, Sushi Master's up, but you know, this is revenge. I'm gonna cook the best meal I can, and I'll cook you. It's too late now. So here we go. We see Machamp out with this ability that doesn't affect me too much. It prevents all pretty much damage counters from attacks going onto the bench line. So we don't have any of those. You know, he has time to set up. I need time to set up. You know, we'll get there. We will get there. So one of the big things I want is kind of retreat right now. I could end or I could just straight retreat. All right, he played Sycamore. That's none end. Machamp, Machoke, they're getting ready to come up. Sushi Masters, I'm out of here, Donald. Bye-bye, hasta la vista. Who's going to come out? Probably Karmic. Nope. Okay. So one thing we can do is just try to find a Float Stone or Guzma this out right now. Switch and set Eevee up. That might be the best thing. That might be the, just the best thing. Yeah. Guzma. Or even Acerola could fit, be fit at this point. No, Acerola would not work. Not your word off. So I'm gonna play Guzma. Guzma's like, hey, what's... Yo, it's your boy Guzma. Who you want up first? You want, I think I want that useless car bank. No, I want a Machop. I want a Machop. Maybe I'll get rid of it if he's not ready. I may be able to GX him too. Ooh. All right. I think that's a better combo than you playing, you know, getting random cards with N. So now, Magical Ribbon! We want... We want... Okay, we want a rare candy. Let's see, I think that there's a guard of... Okay, we want a guard of war. We want a rare candy. We may want Sushi Master or DCE. I just want... I think I want a DCE. So if he does evolve the back line, we'll be able to plead GX him. So, there we go. We'll be able to follow up with a nice end. Get some stuff going. Yeah! Sylveon! Right, I don't think Guardi can one hold. Want to KO Machamp easily? No, we're both going for two shots. So despite being God of War being... Yeah, we might have to be like... It's just be an even matchup. So, let's do this. Professor Kukui. Ah, oh, must, uh, must be a little dry right now. So he's trying... He just needs some... Rescue Stretcher. Let's see what's Rescue Stretcher. There's the Machamp GX there. But those are being shuffled back. He didn't want it in his hand immediately. So he must already have a Machamp GX. All right, so we could also drop a, we could also drop a Parallel City too, but you know, I kind of really want my Gardevoir GX. Two energies up front, rare candy, it works, and he's gonna get two hit KO on me. Ooh, okay. What should Donald do? Choice man. Two hit KO, cross cut. I'm alive. 
What do I want to do? This would be a good time to use Guzma and uh, my Plegiax, but that's currently not up. Alright, let's go ahead and use uh, Gardevoir. Get her up. Absolutely want one of my big Gardevoirs up. This guard, I don't. Re it doesn't matter really where the choice band is. I think I'm gonna weaken you. We're gonna go for a two shot. I could magical ribbon, but that's not gonna get too much value. You know, this is gonna get me some damage. You know what? I better put in the guard of war. Yeah, the guard of war is a little bit better. Let's go ahead and end. This will help him because he has four cards now. He has six. Unless he got a really bad hit with that. Ooh, yes. We also have Sushi Master. Hey there, Sushi Master. Now mine's up. I definitely need the. I don't think I need another Sylveon. So we can get rid of to lose two of these. And we can get the. Uh, oh yeah, Galate is up there too. Awesome setup. And we still have to get another Gardevoir up. We'll fight with our Lele's. That's probably what's gonna happen. So let's go ahead and get this up. Perfect. And now. You know, let's go ahead and activate this. What are the next six cards? I. Five cards. Okay, give me the energy. I don't need rare candies, so put the rare candies at the very back of this. There we go. We actually don't have another draw supporter with this, so that kind of stinks. So all those rare candies are just going to clock me up. So let's go ahead and use Abyssal Hand right now. There we go. Energies. Perfect. Secret Spring. Load me up. Be prepared to knock out this Machamp. Do I need to take out your items? Now you're going to kill me anyways. So I don't think I think I'm going to save it this turn. Fleet GX only works on bench Pokemon, I know. Fairy Wind. We cannot go for a one- Actually, we can. It's just really hard. 250, let me see. My scaling is... I need eight. There has to be eight energies between us, so that was kind of hard to do. I don't think I was going to make it in time. He may just use these two energy crosscuts to try to go for two shots. It looks like that's what he's doing. So does he have a big enough attack? Yeah, if he has a choice, man, his Muscle Punch and Strong Energy is can one-shot my Gardevoir. That would be huge. That would be huge. So more, uh, I'm kind of afraid of that, you know, that he draws that. Okay. Alright, so I know you're going to hit me with the regular attack. Muscle Punch. Let's see, how much damage is that? With a choice, man, he needs one more Strong Energy. One more stronger. Now he has a lot of cards in his hand. I don't like that. God of War, of course you have to come out at this point. Alright. What do we do? We're gonna use the ability to attach the energy. I need the energy, I believe. Secret Spring. Attach it to God of War right there. I kinda need more card pulls. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next co couple cards. Let me s Come on, you can pull me. Okay, DC, that's good. Super Rod's good, too. But I kind of need a draw supporter. Let's make sure that's going to be Ralts, because we need it next turn. As well as a DCE. As well as a Super Rod. As well as a Choice Band that we can follow up. No, Choice Band can light wait. Alright, so I can only pull one card, unless I play this right now. I'd rather have two cards. Two cards better. I need those two cards. So let's go ahead and drop this, as well as the choice band. Take away your stadium. Take away the float zones. Look, oh, I'm suddenly feeling heavy now. Uh, why'd you do that, Donald? Okay. So let's go ahead and use the Bissel Hand. There's no reason for me to play that card. I'll go ahead and play Ralts. I don't need this DC, and I know I'm going to get another one next turn. So let's make sure Galades are able to fight. Yeah, we may not survive. So how many hit points? hundred and... Yeah, I think this is enough. 150? Yeah, 140. Perfect. Let's go ahead and use Infinite Force. Knock out this Machamp. 150. And take our two prize cards. Catch up with this and take a look, man. Machamp is holding its ground against me. Two prize cards and he may even get the one shot. He's got a nice big juicy hand. We can't end the way that. If he gets a strong energy and a choice man, there's the choice man. Strong energy, one shot KO Gardevoir. Holy cow. Holy cow. Don't do it. Don't strong energy me. Because otherwise I have to fight with my Gallade and try to finish you off. Uh-oh. With a Sycamore, you probably have a really good chance of drawing strong energy. Means that... Uh, the regular energy. Oh, regular energy. Woo! Woo! Muscle Punch GX. Wait, that was enough! 230. Oh, that's right. I don't have 250. I don't have 250. Ow! 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 
I gotta end you, buddy. You can't keep that. And then I have to fit follow up with that. Oh boy. Okay. We have the super rod. Chan can keep up with this guard of war. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We weren't able to get a. We could have set, tried to set up a Sylveon. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit of luck. But I'm gonna try to get a second Guard of War out right now. There we go. Rare candy. There we go. Guard of War is now up. Alright, this is getting rough. Cook me something nice, man. We hopefully we get an N. We get N and DCE, and we can retreat, or we could just fight with our Gallade, which is completely safe to fight with our Gallade. All right. First of all, I'm gonna activate Secret Spring right now, so I can get this energy onto my God of War. I'm gonna activate this right here. I'm gonna attach it to this card right here, and even the even with this right now, I can't get a one shot. It's just too strong. It's 250 hit points. Let's go and end. This triggers a condition for Sensitive Blade. There we go. Got a Floatstone, got a Curly. I cannot use that. Let's, we'll, we'll drop this Floatstone down. I don't think... I think I already activated Premonition. No, I did not. I did not activate Premonition. Okay. I think I want to draw N if he does get something good. That's my next, very next card. I don't really have a draw supporter. Then we can go for these right there in that order. There we go. All right. So now we can get half dam, half the damage on here. Let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Sensitive blade. Take this. Bring this down. He, uh, you know, he does a lot of damage. Does he have one? Sh oh man. He, if he has a Guzma on my Lele, that could be just really bad. All right. Floatstone. He's got Sushi Master. He's not really stuck. Oh dear. Oh dear, man. If he, I think, let's see, let's take a look. He does have a one shot. If he Guzmas my Lele, that's it. He wins the game. He would have defeated the God of War. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is his only attacker. He can Guzma into that, into, by using the Carbink, into retreat. That energy comes up, okay. He retreats, he doesn't let me get the KO. That means that's not ready to attack, but it may get ready to attack the carving comes out the side, but we can't let it live. Of course not. That's no, that's a no, no. How many points you have? 120. Ooh, you are gonna deck out soon. You are gonna deck out soon. A5 card, so we have to be really careful what's able to attack and what's not. Ultra Ball, gonna get a fresh Machamp up properly. Yeah, we have to get rid of that fresh Machamp. I mean, with the strong energy. Uh, yeah. No, that's another Carbig right now. I'm pretty sure another Machamp GX may come up. Diamond Gift, or we may save it for next turn. And who's gonna get the energies? We want to shut down whoever's attacking. This Machamp sack, perfect. I can't let you do that, buddy. I cannot let you fight through that. So let me see, is Guard of War enough to finish that off? Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. Switch it up. No, I can't let you defeat me like this. I put the... Hang on for dear life. That was super close. Okay, man. I did not let you down, Pablo. I did not let you down. I didn't. But I got rough there. My champ was like, don't you? I don't care you're number one. God, for I would threaten you bad, so... Woo! Ooh, okay. So this is what it likes to be behind a wheel one of these decks. Awesome. Awesome possum. We will move on. We will move on to another Guard of War GX match. This is Pablo Mesa's Championship. Vancouver Regionals uh, deck list. Yeah. And today's giveaway winner is Pepsi for Peace. Oh, look at that. He's, he knows what I've been playing, so he's going to use Hoopa. Ah. Okay. Good choice, good choice. So I'm gonna have to use a non-GX Pokemon to get through this. All right, 
Let's do this, Pepsi for peace. If it's all Hoopas, we may be a bit of trouble. So here's our gateway Pokemon, the Pokemon that allows us to do stuff. So I'm gonna, you know, stop talking, play my music, remix. This is my remix of You Say Run from Hero Academy. Thought we need something epic here. All right, you know I need uh, I need more cards. What about what you what you pay the price for? I can't pay that price. That price is like the ultimate price. And DC is kind of too much, man. So these are valuable, but you got to do it. You got to go for your Lele. Lele. I think, you know, we'll, we'll find you later. I can bridge it, but I may be completely dead if I don't get the right card. So I'm a little afraid. I'm very afraid, actually. I'll be completely dead. I don't want to be completely dead. I'm scared. I don't want... Yeah. We do have Sylveon, so it's not that bad, but... Okay. No, no, at least I got momentum. Yeah, look at looks. Sushi Master down. You want to play another card? You know what? I, I could. I need this for Sushi Master, though, so I'm not going to play that card. I'll end my turn right there. All right. We, gotta, we only have one card that can deal with the Hoopas, and we'll one-shot it, so it's going to be very good. And he's got Zora Arcs. And it depends how many Hoopas we have, because if he's playing, this is the only card that we can't get through. It's not that bad. That bad right there. So I guess our priority is to go for something else. Bridget. Yeah, I kind of wanted to go over that, but hey, look at this. Bench space is filled, pretty much. Don't need to bridge that up. We're okay. We're okay. All right, what is your real? You're definitely using Zoar. You, I have resistance against this entire deck, but he may, we may see a squad of Hoopas, we may not. And, uh, you know, we have to play accordingly against what's going to come out. There's two Hoopas. There's Zoroark 2. So, Zoroarks we can smash with our cards. We just have to go on a spree with this. Alright, my turn. Easy. I just saw Epic Hand. Okay, let's drop the Ultra Ball. Let's drop the Energies. We can get that back. Energies can come back. We can deal with your Hoopas. I'm ready for your Hoopas. Okay. Play this right now. Evolve this with the Gallade. Alright, Donald, you want to... Mm, you know if I Sycamore, it doesn't matter if I used my uh, Premonition or not. Let's use Premonition after the Sycamore. Sycamore, let's do this! Ah, uh, we don't have a Retreat. Just yet. So I guess I will open up with a Plea GX. Hang on. I can Ultra Ball for uh, for uh, this and get still get more cards this turn. I think that's a good idea. You know, Sycamore we can get back. Let's go ahead and get Sushi Master up too. So I can pull one more card out with my Gallade. It could be any card. Gallade! Line me up. Set me up for a win. Okay, looks like we're not gonna... I want this deck this, this turn, this next turn. Everything else can come later. So that's what it's gonna be. All right, we're doing pretty, we're doing pretty good here. No retreat for me this time. So let's pull that uh, Abyssal Hand, pull that energy there. I think I that's energy. All right, Magic Ribbon. Oh, the deck gets shuffled. All right, need a retreat. Good. Retreat. Where's another Ralts? Okay, there's my Ralts. Sounds good. We're okay. A little scary, but we're okay. Fight with the Curlias! Can the Curlia fight? They're not gonna get a good value out of that for sure. Zorark is here. Wow, double heads. Congratulations. That is good luck. 25% chance. Boom. The Zoroarks are here. Now we can GX. And it will take uh, two turns for them to, uh, one turn to get that out. Depending on whose turn you're counting. So, yeah. So they are now up. Probably could give us a better value if we did something else with that. So, trade. No, he can't really get that right there. See what I can do. I want to hunt down all the Hoopas right now. Let's see what he does. 
I'm thinking of an N might come there. There, there we go. N. <laughs> of course, of course. So you want to get back though? Mm, not too bad, but uh, yeah, it just sucks. I really want to retreat my Sylveon so I can just you know get rid of the Hoopas. And if I put two in them or too much, too many Pokemon's down, he'll one shot me with this right here. So I can't have that. So the Zorak is actually the thing that I'm scared of. Now he already has that potential to two shot me with my Gallades. All right, gonna fight with this, huh? Okay. Okay, I need this right here. I can't pull any more cards out right now. There's the floatstone I need. Retreat. There's a Poketo I need to remove. This is not a basic Pokemon. I already played N. But I can use Premonition before I go. Make sure I can line up something good. Yeah, I want to line up a Curlia for sure. I don't think it matters next. Acerola? If I want Acerola, it's more important. Would I Acerola immediately the next turn? I could. I don't think I can. I might. Okay, let's line it up this way. We can still pull some ca those cards this turn. I think I'll do that. Let's pull that Acerola out. <laughs> So I can pull the Curlia next turn as well. Sensitive Blade! Get out of here, Hoopa! Weak this damage. Take a prize card. Alright, that's how we're gonna get through our stuff. Our other stuff. Our cards. Our enemies. Yeah. And my bench base is filled. Alright, not gonna... I just need to get this other Hoopa out and we'll be okay. We can fight with everything else. So, let's see. He needs to fill up his entire bench space of cards. And he could... You know, we could try to go through it. We could just try to one-shot these. Okay, gonna come up with this. Alright, so... Guzma out. You want the Sylveon! Peeper wants the Sylveon to use Plea GX, perhaps. I think that's what he wants. He wants the GX to Plea me. Trickster GX, Plea GX. That's just something we can buy some time. So we can definitely, uh, you know, we'll wait. We'll wait. Hopefully there's a Curlia here. Oh, there is a Curlia. No, there's not. Sushi Master's up. But there's a Curly on the next move. I'll be back for you. Two can almost play at that game. I don't need Sushi Master right now. I get a two shot on you. That might be just good value. You can't copy much from me. Energy's gonna go here. If I drop down that last card, he can get a one shot on me with this. Uh, I'm kind of scared about that. No, you can't really get a one shot right now. It's okay. Let's go ahead and drop this here. I got a Guzma still, but nobody has a free retreat. So I'll be stuck if I Guzma. That's bad. I could stick him more, but I really need the cards in my hands. So you know what? We're gonna fight. I could plea. The plea only works on the Zora arc. So let's go ahead and use Fairy Wind. Get a two shot on this. You should not be able to escape me after this. So there we go. This is a you know, tight match. Can I try to charge up the Hoopa? Sure! And away my cards! Sure! My, that that Galate is ready to go pretty soon. So he used up his GX attack. I still have my own plea. I could trick my bench too with this, but I may want to keep his bench in. Stand in? Of course you won't fight me. What do we have here next? I can no, no time for Acerola. Copy one of my attacks. Fairy win. Resistance? Nope. Okay, you need to be up. I don't have another Pokemon to fight. That's why, that's why I can't use Acerola. I don't really need to pop a parallel city down. 
Let's save the Parallel City. It may hurt him later. And you want it stops him from throwing anything down right now, so I'm gonna do that. We're gonna drop it down right here. I need more cards of my own, so I'll go ahead and flip this. Oh, we do get the Gallade. If I retreat and hit him right now, I'm gonna finish him off. And I do get Sushi Masters back, it's like I'm back, ready to cook! Gallade, I'm back here too! And this is the only card that can one-shot my Gallade. This is the only card. That's right up front. We are gonna get rid of it. We have to get rid of it. <laughs> Sad face. Yeah! Yeah, alright. Hey, you wanna check what card you want first, Donald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rare candies, energies. I don't need any of that. Give me the energies. Then you can't beat the rare candies afterwards. It's lame. I don't need this. I don't need the rare candies. Give me the tour removals. Save the rare candies for later. I already played an end right there. Okay. We're all good. Let's go ahead and pull me those stuff. Those energies that I can't do. The rare... Okay, the energies. Now you don't need any of them. Sensitive blade. One shot this. Weakness damage. Oh, yeah. We can get through the Hoopa. You want to send the Hoopa out? We can get the we can get through the Zorark too. Let's go. Like, oh. <laughs> I gotta save that Hoopa, my magical Hoopa. So takes away the stadium immediately to be able to drop down new cards. DCE, yeah, you should fight with that. And I gotta get that card out of here because that's my only lifeline against the Hoopa. How many Guzmas have I used up? Zero. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. Okay. All right, this is a completely dead hand. It's completely dead. I could fight, go on and fight. I can't even activate Sensitive Blade right now. So I have to retreat. I need to save this for another day. Otherwise I'm in bad shape. And he'll one-shot my Sylveon after this, so that's bad. He may send this card out, which is I'm worried that if he does, send a send a. It's bad, bad. It's a bad situation either way. I can do 110. Okay, let's do this. We'll drop sensitive. We'll go with premonition because I'm, man, I'm dead stuck. Acerola or DC, DC would help out. Acerola, I'm completely dead on cards. At least Acerola would activate and help me. Uh, no, I couldn't use Acerola. Okay, we'll leave it like this. This is completely. We're dead. What is with this hand and 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 uh, you know, once we got free space, this will help me out a lot. Once we got the free space. So, you know, I don't need. I don't want to play GX. Magical Ribbon, no. Let's just use Fairy Wind. Weaken up this now. Guzma my way to victory. Guzma this, Guzma this. I don't care about your hoopa anymore. I'm close to winning. And then Lele can finish things up. Can mop things up here. So, uh, can Lele finish me off? Oh, uh, yeah, it can. Yeah, it can. Needs one more energy, though. Yeah, it needs to invest one more energy if it wants. Or a choice man or some sort. Or retreat. But at this point, you know, the victory, the road to victory is open. Okay. Not bad. Go on choosing the Hoopa route. It was a straight Hoopa deck. Maybe it'd be really good. Yeah. Then I wouldn't have enough Gallades to deal with you. Alright, going up with the Lele! Lele, what you want? Maybe he wants a retreat. Guzma? Oh yeah, I will Guzma my way to victory against your Pokemon. Let's go. My Sylveon is still alive. You want the Gallade? Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna send the safe card out. Alright, so the Gallade is going down, that means I can't go through the Hoopa, however, there are three, two GX, but I can goose my way to victory. I know I can choose my, goose my way to victory. You don't not necessary anymore. There are just, you know, options on the bench. I can take advantage of that. So goodbye, Gallade. You're only worth one prize card. You're gonna give me a big card coming out. Let's go with something. Let's go with this. Yeah, this will finish it off. Sure. Now I have bench space. That's worth two prize cards. Load up our Lele as well. 
Or just fight with Sylveons. That might be a good idea too. Who cares about the other? Who cares about Gardevoir? Let's activate this. Nope, there are no cards. <laughs> That's something that makes sense. That's the other EVs right there. So pretty much two e Pokemons are ready to fight. I can use Fairy Wind, finish this off. I'm two prize cards away from winning. I won't be able to u activate the Guzma this turn because I wasted it on a certain card. So we'll have to knock this out. Hey, right, I'll hit hunt this. No, I don't have the this card's safe to throw out, but I, uh, I've got I've got ways to deal with that, so it's okay. Oh yeah, I, I, I dropped my way to victory. I'm gonna have to really hope on that Guzma because I decided to go with a second Eevee. That's okay. You finish this off. That's fine. I'll finish this. You have to ace the roller pretty darn soon. All right, choice man. Sycamore, things are going down. We got prize cards to. Uh, we got to us prize cards to uh, wait. But it's nice to have multiple attackers. Okay, Koopa coming. No, Hoopa's not coming out. Energy drive, finishing me off. Uh oh, that means if I goose my win. I think this is it. I think this is it. Lele. Guzma. Sylveon. Energy. Guzma, that out there. It's weakened. Well played back. Wow. Nice one. Not bad choice. I think, yeah. You could have got me. Looks like, luckily, Gallade has an answer for some Hoopas. But all Hoopas, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We do have weakness advantage against that. So, whoo, lucky you, Gallade. And finally, good game. Good game to you. All right. So, that was our match. Good game to our winner, which he has two names. He has two names. It's Pepsi for Peace as well as uh, Legend SH. No, oh, bad for names. I'm sorry, man. I apologize. Good game to you. Yes. Okay, so we could not bring a Gardevoir out because of that Hoopa out. Woo! Gallade was trouble. Yes. Yes, it was. Without without the Gallade. Yeah. At least that, that base was covered. All right. I hope played Pablo. I did you justice. I did you justice. This looks like a mirror match. I have the hiccups, by the way. I swallowed my tea wrong. And my, my, oh my gosh, this is going to be weird. One game you can have a lot of hiccups. All right, Xerneas Break. Okay. The leading fairy deck, which should be Gardevoir, versus the other leading. But the second fairy deck. Hopefully they'll go away. But I gotta stream this match. You can't wait for the hiccups to go, so let's do this. Welcome to another God of War GX match. The deck list given to... I'm sorry, Pablo. By Pablo Mesa. The exact deck list has won first place in the Vancouver Regionals. Al, let's get started. Gonna play my remix of Breakbeat Bar from... It's the Sword Art Online movie Corn Ordinal Scales because there are fairies there. Kirito loves fairies. He was a fairy himself. Okay. So you open up with a bridger right there. So it means that your, your bench is filled up and with Banana Master. Oh yeah. Three more cards. Mini Sushi Master. We'll try to open up with the same and let's see what we can do. We're gonna definitely open up with this Sylveon with this first move. Luckily, the Float Stone's here that allow speed to do that. So, Float Stone! We're gonna go ahead and play this right now. You know, one, one, uh, one, one Fairy Energy, one Sycamore will work, and hopefully Bridget... I'm pretty sure Bridget's here, as well as a Lele. This is our final Lele. There's Bridget. Let's go ahead and toss that down. Alright, Coconut Master! Coconut Master's gonna use her Coconut... Let's to lure out Bridget. Bridget's like, hi, I'm here. Let's ring the party. We're gonna have a coconut party. Yes, so miners are allowed. Let's go ahead and bring out Sushi Master. I don't have a name for you, but this is Eevee. And we're gonna bring out one rope. All right, our, our uh, whole lineup is now uh, taken up. 
There we go. Let's see how many energies were you able to get? A lot. Okay, Sylveon. This will be the... There we go, Sylveon is up. Luckily, I get to attack first. So going second isn't so bad. What do we want? We already have a guard of war in our hand, so let's go ahead and find... Sushi Master. Rare candy. And probably need a DC. Or, or I could play the this, this stadium. I probably need a DC to attack. Yeah, this is good. Sushi Master's like, oh, is that Banana Master? Is that what you've been using me to replace with? With, with all these things? Days? That, dang, Donald, I hate them. This is gonna, this is a little bit worse that you have the hiccups going on. Okay, maybe some more water will fix that. Taco Master should be Eevee. Why? Does Eevee look, uh, does Eevee look, uh, weird? Uh-oh, going for Lele. He knows you... You gotta end away my cards, otherwise I'm gonna set up extraordinarily well. So this is the only Lele you can look up. It's like, yeah, oh, I'm gonna open with N. There's, I'm pretty, yeah, there's no way you're gonna open with a sucker board. Maybe he's really greedy and wants to do that. Yeah. Hey, and they still get me uh, the the right cards. Gonna be not as good, because I have four of the right cards in my hand. So we'll, we'll see. You know, pull some extra cards, see if you can do that. Ugh. No way. And let's see how many of the cards that we can keep. None. This is a completely bad hand, and I'm completely stu stuck. That's bad. That's extremely bad. This place needs to be for another Ralts, too. So, if he keeps able to end me a lot of times, we are in trouble. He also has a tap of Coco, too, which can uh, ruin me. All right. Well, at least we have a curly we can use that for. All right, I have a lot of dead cards in my hand. I'm gonna drop a Guzma just cause I don't care. Give you a heart. No, you are you have a free treat. There's no reason for me to do that. That has to be that. That cannot be for another Eevee. We're just gonna use Magical Ribbon again. You got me, man. You got me. We need a Guard of War. We need a Draw Supporter. And we need an Energy. Draw Supporter. That's my old Draw Supporter. I didn't want to shuffle everything back. And there's my Energy. Alright. The ends don't like me. No, they don't. Finally, get to see you play live. Love your YouTube channel. Thank you, uh, Hello Star Starpin Dragon. Hello, Starpin Dragon. Okay, got that right. Oh boy. Three Guzmas. Like, hey, it's your boy, Dust. We're gonna have a dance off right now in your hand, but this is not the time to do it. No. No, it is not. Okay. Can't see the deck uh, flow with this. Next turn, God of War is out. We really aren't ready to attack at all, but neither is he. And then if this this comes out, we're gonna try to what we have to one shot that. I mean, with a thanks to his own fairy stadium, I do have free retreat, and I'll just slap it off with my guard war if I get to keep it in my hand. All right, so Ultra Ball, you can't lele again, so hopefully le you, you can draw something in your hand. So this probably will be Zerni's break. All his bench space is taken. There it is, Zerni is break. So we need to be able to one shot. I think it's 150 hit points. So that means we have to need five energies between us. He needs two energies to attack. That means that I have to at least have three energies on me. And using Plea GX doesn't seem like it's going to be of any use. Actually, it will if it hits two Pokemon that has holding a lot of energies. Double Ultra Ball. Alright, so he really wants an energy on this first Xerneas because he doesn't really have much that much damage. And really, he evolved the one that have no any energies. Okay. The hiccups are going away. No, they're not. I can't say anything. Banana Master's like, Donald, you ditched me. You ditched me. You went for that fish. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but, uh, uh oh, I pulled an end. He may have known that. So, I, you know, there's a time. It might be. No, Sycamore. Wow, Banana Master's killing it. He landed a Sycamore. It's like, this is what you get, Donald. I don't like traitors. You stick with one cook, and you can't switch between. So, gonna save that one back. Okay. 
and try to charge up into, you know, the big one-hit kill potentials. Now on a single Xerneas, I would need four energies. I, no, hang on. Yeah, four energies. Between... Five energies between the t t total of us, so that's gonna be a little bit harder. Alternatively, I could use Bleed GX to hit some of his cards right now. Alright, Gardevoir's up. I'm gonna have to activate this, unless I really want to fight right now. Can't one-shot him. I can Guzma, though. I can Guzma. And get a prize card. I can delete the Tapu Coco as well as the Lele, and I think I may do that right now. Cancel. Or if I plea. Alright, this is done. Let's see what you do. It means you lose the Coco. You also lose the Lele. With the with the with that right there, so that's pretty good. If I GX you, I can undo Unevolve these, kill a lot of your momentum right there too. So I don't have to, I don't really have to do uh, anything else here. I can just fight with a, yeah, get some value of a GX attack. Why well, charge up? That's looking good. All right. He has, you gotta throw that away. You know, she's gonna go for you. Choice, man, nobody needs it. There, I don't see any GX Pokemons on your side. We'll give it straight to the Sylveon. We're also going to end two. I don't want another Sylveon. I want another Gardevoir. There we go. And I can also use my plea. I'm sorry, uh, my Secret Spring. Alright, Secret Spring. Charge, your, charge yourself up. Ultra Ball. I kind of want that end. I, you know, I think I have spare Gardevoirs. I can get rid of an Ultra Ball. Let's go ahead get that down. We can super rot that back. We get our own Sushi Master back up. It's like, I will outcook that monkey of yours that you love. Alright, start outcooking. Abyssal Hand. Alright. Oh, yes. Ralts. Plea GX. Undo three energies, forces all the evolutions all over again, and I may be able to end away all those cards. So, there we go. Yeah, slow him down. He is. This hand looks. Yeah, that looks pretty bad on this for, for his side of the field. That definitely slowed him down quite a bit. Yeah, he doesn't. can't use this. He can't uh, use that XP share that was on the Lele. He doesn't have a free retreat, that little trick with that little Coco anymore. And we, uh, you know, nullified the turn of energies. So got some value out of that. And we replaced my stadium with a Fairy Guard, which I hope. You know, I'll go ahead and, you know, deal with that. We'll see if we actually get a one shot or not with the, with the Guard of War next turn. We might. And we go downtown by one shot, one shot, one shot. We are good. Alright. See what you got. You're like, nope, oh, I'm too far behind. I don't want to play this. That's what I think. He didn't want to try to catch back up. I was like, oh, I'm out. Screw this game. We'll go to the next one. MVP is... Okay, that's health. That's cool. Nobody, we didn't do any damage. We just threatened them with our our powerful setup. It's like I'm, I'm I got a God War up. I'm just gonna slam KO your Pokemon. So you're too far behind. Not really. I think it could have caught back up. Okay, you crushed his dreams. I'm sorry. I gotta make probable proud. Hopefully you, hopefully uh that worked. Well, there we go. The infamous, like he said, Parallel City and Plea GX. Woo! You gotta like that Parallel City though. All right, to the very first God of War GX, Sylvia GX match. All right, Mr. All right, Pablo, hope I make you proud with this. Let's get going. I know, uh, yeah, you have to beat these guys to get here. Get to regional spot. Defeat champion regional. Shut up, focus. I'm gonna play by remix of the world from, this is Death Note. Let's do this. And following for the end, okay, that can't be too bad. My hand was pretty good. Now, hey, look, now we just need a retreat for this. Hey, retreat! Perfect. But however, he can use his GX, Divide GX next turn to hunt off some of my cards. So I gotta be careful about that. Do I want to remove any Poketools? No, they're my Poketools. Let's go ahead and open up with the end ourselves. 
and see what happens. Alright, you can hunt down a lot of nice guards here. It looks like I don't have an energy as well. That's ultra bad. This GX attack is going to slam me. It's going to slam me. So we do have a pretty bad start here. I can't let him take my Ralts. Or maybe I can't let him take my Ralts. But rather than force the GX my Ralts. And leave it be. That stinks. We needed one fairy energy to get this going. But we don't have it. We're going to attribute it to some bad luck here. Okay. Missed on the energy. Yep. And shutting off my... Uh, you know, he, if he evolves the Gardo, he may shut off my abilities. Which is pretty bad. That means I won't be able to activate artillery. Going ahead with the N. Looks like he didn't have a DC in his hand. Otherwise, he would have dropped it. And let's see what we can get. See if we can catch up. We do have a DC, but there's the fairy energy, and there is your Lele. So one Garbodor is up. Does he have the DC in this one? If not, we'll just take the confusion. It is no problem. And we will still be in trouble if he gets another Ralts down. Uh, yeah, if he hunts. Oh, he has the GX. So that means either Ralts or Eevee is going to go down. Psychic insides. No, I'll go take this one right here. Okay. So. I need to double rare candy this. That's gonna be a risk. Like, I need to rare candy the heck of that out. He just got one heck of a good start. That may just, uh, let's see. I'll place the energy right here. He didn't, he did, it was good they didn't take this GX. Let's go ahead and end. And we can hopefully land the rare candy in the Gardevoir. We got the Gardevoir. He can still GX me. I think I'm gonna get steamrolled at this point. Oh, we didn't land the stuff we need. We don't have another draw. Wonder Horror Ralts is gonna die, or he could GX something else. Okay, I do have Sushi Master. I do have Sushi Master, so let's go ahead and play this right now. Right now, I don't really want to bridge it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cr crush all the bridges right now. We're gonna get Sushi Master up. There we go. Sushi Master, go get and toss you out there. Gonna drop you down just cuz. No, I really need a rare candy and a Gardevoir. Oh my gosh, rare candy Gardevoir. Oh, rare candy, yeah. Okay. Secret Spring, give me that. Oh, give me the energy, baby. Let's do it. What did I get this guard? Eevees? No, I'm not gonna get that back. Is this almost a one shot KO? Almost, but not quite enough. Hmm, that's all we could have done, Max. That's the max we could have done this turn. We don't need to use Twilight GX, so let's go ahead and do this. 180 back at you. I have a retreat for the confusion. Man! And now he can use the GX to step off this card, which would be ultra bad. Yeah, so, you know, he's still trying to get good value out of this uh, here. It'll hit me pretty darn hard. So maybe, uh, maybe I, if I, yeah, I needed a choice man to get the uh, one shot. So this will sting pretty hard. I don't have another backup attacker. So I'm still in this. I'm still in this. However, let's see, how much damage does he actually do? A hundred? Yeah, I'll be pretty much dead after this. However, with the DC, you know, we got Lele to fight. Lele has to fight. Take a look at our... Item counts? It's not that high. Alright, abilities are shut down. That is bad. That's ultra bad. Psychic. I'm still alive, luckily, but I can't activate my, you know, necessary abilities. What do we do? We have a Guzma. We can super run one more time, but that's not going to get me anything. So, the ability lock has got me. Garbodor will definitely get me, and I won't be able to GX uh, to do anything about that. This is pretty much gone. We can shut down the Garbodor for next turn. I think. No, we don't have enough damage. We can't get the Garbodor and leave that alive, but uh, I don't know. I think it's more value. This thing is... Yeah, let's get some value out of that. Hang on. I don't have a retreat. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. I don't. I have to just hit infinite force. I'm out of time! I'm out of time. I just have to attack. I can't play anything else. I had discarded my Lele. I cannot use any Lele's, actually. I have to go and, you know, fight with it. So now Garbodor is up. It's like, yeah! Now we're going to have to try to fight for, uh, for momentum. Okay. So now all abilities are shut down for him and me. I do have the power. No, I don't have Octillery as a... Any power, so better send the Lele out to fight. You have to at this point. 
All right, what do we have here? We have a rare candy. We definitely want to play a Super Rod right now. Okay, Super Rod all this back here. I can't activate. Garbodor's got me, man. Gar Pablo, I don't know how you did this. Or it was, it's just a bad start. Definitely is a bad start. Okay. We have no reason we have to play this right here. I better throw the energy on you. But I really want to keep the rare candy, but I'd rather have this going soon, so... Yeah. Just see there. Garb's too fast. It is very fast. However... He was able to do this. He was able to accomplish, to, to, to pull through. But maybe it's just this hand. This time around. Oh, yeah, I can't use the GX. So, you got me. Everybody's lucked. Everybody's stuck down. 110 damage. Two shot of my Lele's. I got a choice ban, but I, I'm completely stuck. I'm completely stuck. I have to buy some time. I can't let you take two prize cards. I need a draw. Two of my draws are gone. And with Garbodor shutting down, he already is like, Oh, I've got you under the bag, Donald. I think this is it, man. I have been this one. Nope, Sycamore is like, Ha, huh, you're looking for stuff? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We did have a cap hand. Yeah. Parallel City's up. My, my bench is completely, uh... Down. Alright. I'll take one hit. Oh, man. I got nothing. I'm dead, dead, and dead. Thanks, Pokemon. We need a, we need a baby Eevee down. Yeah, I think I discarded Sylveon. Sylveon could have helped me come back, but I'm looking forward to just pull a Gardevoir. That's all I can do. I mean, all he wants is to Guzma this out afterwards. Yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Rest in peace. Not much chance from here. No, there's not. Well, not with Lele. Garbodor killing all the Lele's. All right, Ralts, you go up. You better draw a card that I can use. No, I, now I can take that out, but that's it. That's it, good game, man. I can't, uh, I didn't get a chance to set up by going second. All right. So, how do you like the best God of War GX the game? All right. So, you know, it's time we talk about this. Let's rate this deck. Bumpo's deck. So, let's do it. Thank you for making it to the end, by the way. Thank you very much. Congratulations. It is time we rate this deck. Let's break it down. Unique trait. What's so great about God of War? You know, I don't want to talk about God of War in general. She's a very strong card, but this is... You know, the one that just won the major tournament recently. So, he's a very strong, a very refined build. So, damage. 5 out of 5. Yep, you are expected to one-shot anything you come through. You can one-shot anything with this deck. And spam it, too. Because the more energies, you know, you got double colors energies, as many energies you can load up in your Gardevoir, she will scale very quickly. She's just like Mega Mewtwo without any of the weakness. Mega Pikachu is still around too, but you know, a certain deck is locking them these days. Alright, so setup. Uh, setup varies. It's a 3.5, meaning I think it takes, you know, an average about two turns. If everything's perfect, yeah, rare candy on your uh, second turn, she's ready to go. Turn one, yeah, it's great. But you have a vulnerability that, yeah, there's a Ralts around, make it blown up pretty quickly, things can go wrong. So there is, it's a stage two, it has some setup time. However, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5. Yes. To Art of War takes time to set up, but the payoff is very huge. Very, very big. Once everything is set up, you'll be way ahead of your opponent. And yeah, with Sushi Master and Gallade, deck blow is gonna be awesome. So, defense. Defense, you're using at least two Gardevoir, Sylvia, you have two GX Defenders. I'm gonna give that a 4 out of 4 in my system. Yes, GX, they're worth two prize cards. And the decks designed to handle GX cards, you know, they'll be the same. So when I played against most of uh, my opponents, I felt, yeah, maybe it was I was the get ahead of them at the very end, but we were neck and neck together. So, alright, average defense, or exact 
you know, standard, the, the, what you need. Now, rating! You know, screw all, all those scores. Screw all those scores right now. God of War is probably one of the best decks in the in standard right now. It is the apex deck, so you cannot give that score anything less than a 5 out of 5. So, if you want to be on top, you gotta dethrone this God of War. Okay, so, that is that. There are a lot of decks that you know, do, do have uh, ways. Probably there will be one pretty soon that, I don't know. We'll see that. Hope, hopefully, God of War can you know, hold their position, but somebody's gotta find a way, you know, to take first place. So, and then there might be a way to counter against that. You know, you have, they'll know what you're saying, don't you? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. So, weakness. The weakness of this deck, I believe, is in its setup. You, know, you gotta land your rare candies. You gotta get it all going. Everything needs to evolve. Almost everything needs to evolve. And that's just the hard part of Gardevoir. However, once you're there, it's good. Upgrades! You, know, you gotta ask the master himself. The link to his channel is in the description. He's on Reddit, so go talk to Pablo. He may give you some hits. Or uh, you, may, you may see his upgrades in the future bat tournaments. Okay, so I think that is it for Gardevoir. What is up for next time? You know, we want to take a look at what's been winning. Hey, look at that. There are four Gardevoirs. However, there are two Dropbus. So Dropbus looking to dethrone. Yeah, yeah, the Garvor, uh, you know, supremacy. So that could be something that that's definitely something we're doing next. So that is up for next time. All right. So moving back onto uh, Pokemon. Let's see. There we go. But next up, I think I already have it done. I'm gonna use Sam Chen's, the exact deck build of the same participant in the Vancouver uh, Regionals. This is his deck list. We're doing that for next time. Espeon, Drampa, Garbodor, see, you know how another powerful tournament deck holds up. So, that is it for this time. Thank you, and of course, the friendships. Please like, subscribe, because you know you want to see more videos just like this. Follow me on social media. I'll let you know when uh, new things are coming. Yeah, and then my remixes, they're on iTunes, they're on Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music, they're there. I'm going to add new ones next week. All the ones you've been listening to right now, yeah, they'll be up there. So, I may or may not have a secret YouTube channels. So definitely don't try to look for them. And that is it. Thank you very much, Anna Gross and Franchels. See you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.